Korean leader Kim Jong-un visited the regime's strategic missile bases. After Pyongyang denied claims that it has sent troops to help Russia fight against Ukraine. The North State media said Wednesday that while inspecting the facilities there, Kim emphasized that the United States' nuclear capabilities pose a greater threat. He also reportedly stressed the need to modernize and fortify the strategic missile bases so that they can stay ready to carry out counterattacks against enemies. The KCNA did not say when the visits took place. Photos released on Wednesday show Kim inspecting the Hwasong-18 intercontinental ballistic missile and the hypersonic missile. ICBMs are known to be capable of reaching the U.S. mainland if fired at the right angle, and hypersonic missiles are difficult to detect because of their unpredictable flight paths. This is the first time that North Korea has publicly revealed a strategic missile base, and experts say that this is an attempt to show off its long-range missile capabilities. North Korea appears to be trying to emphasize that it has the capabilities to respond to possible threats caused by its deployment of troops to Russia, showing the United States that they're capable of retaliation. Line containing what look and sound like North Korean troops at a Russian military facility. Our correspondent Kim jong shil starts us off. Mm. You're looking at a group of men believed to be North Korean troops gathered outside in winter gear. <laughs> the video was released by independent Russian media outlet Astra Press on Tuesday local time. Astra says that the video appears to be taken at a military unit, part of the 127th Motor Rifle Division located in Sergeyevska Primorsky Krai in Russia's Far East. Astra reported that the military complex seen in the footage is the newest facility in the region, having opened in July 2022. Um, men have been sent to Russia for training. What Ukraine is really worried about and what has already been affecting uh, Ukraine's defenses in a very negative way is North Korean military support for Russia in terms of armaments. Is in a very negative way is to try to kick out the Ukrainian army, which has occupied a small part of that region. South Korean intelligence seems to be saying that at least 10,000 troops could be sent as well. I think it's gratifying for the Ukrainians to see that their intelligence is apparently so far being proved right. And now the United States is also confirming at the very least that these um, men have been sent to Russia for training. What Ukraine is really worried about and what has already been affecting uh, Ukraine's defenses in a very negative way is North Korean military support for Russia in terms of armaments. Um, more than a million shells, by some accounts, have already been sent and also... People this and understand, right? These are not transsexuals. This is not, you know, these are South, uh, North Korean uh, shock troops, right? Probably some of the best in the world. But they're telling you that these people are a joke. These people are clowns. Yeah, th this is what you're up against, right? These are some of the best soldiers in the world. These North Korean soldiers are, are, the, are some of the best in the world, but they're telling you these they're clowns. Something else people don't understand. So, yeah, let's talk about this for a minute. I wanted to talk about this, right? When I saw this report and I was watching the training of some of the North Korean soldiers, right? And, you know, I was looking at, you know, you look around you, you look at the people around you, and then you look at these people, and then you look at the people around you, and then you look at these people. Right, and you listen to what they're telling you, and then you do a little research, and you realize that the North Koreans' shock troops are some of the best in the world. Right, highly trained, and some of the best in the world. As you can see, these people are kicking; these soldiers are kicking the shit out of center blocks. <laughs> right, and training. These are not. Uh, transsexuals, these are not um, confused integrationists or any of that kind of thing. 
You see, these are people with a single focus, right? Talking about make America great again. No, make North Korea great again. See that that was their goal, and they and that's what they did. They had a single-minded goal, not to be overrun by the Europeans and the Americans. And they and and they went all out, and they're still going all out to the point where um, they're now clicking up with the Russians sending troops in through Russia into Europe right they're going to click up with the Russians and do and and that's just going to make the continuity of these forces even better not to mention Russia has somebody on its wing in Asia to watch his back and it, he's no slouch the guy watching his back is no slouch that's what he's showing you right people think they look at they look at Kim Jong Un in America they say look at this fat fuck right ha 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 everything's a joke everything's funny a lot of people don't know a couple of weird facts about North Korea I think one weed is legal which is interesting but two Kim Jong Un is a uh, I believe is a um, uh, rocket engineer they don't tell you that though they just say well let's make fun of people everything's a joke we number one look at this guy fuck these North Korean this fat fuck that that so-called that dude that you're making fun of, his funny haircut, is is actually a rocket engineer. He's an engineer. Those rockets and missiles, he's helping design those. You see, so when they tell you all this stuff about, uh, they're, they're oppressing their people and these people's in a no good, you know, ten pot dictator. Well, this ten pot dictator is a missile designer. That he's about to. Um, you know, light your ass up. And one thing about these people, you got to respect. They don't play around. The North Koreans are not fucking, they from the not fucking around coalition. They flew drones and dropped, uh, the other day, they flew drones and dropped pamphlets over his territory. This man immediately began to blow up the roads and broke all communication and pulled, you know, and went and, um, basically uh, uh, went on nuclear, you know, got the nuclear missiles on point and got ready to get busy. And you say, well, that's a small thing. Why would he go off over that? One thing I, I take from that and I learn, if you let small things slide, people take advantage of you and you're going to be a failure in your life. They're going to destroy you. And so you see why this guy he took that, you know, he take any hint of disrespect so so seriously to let you know that I'm a serious person. I'm ready. I, at, at the smallest infraction, I will take you, to, I will go, you know, I'm going to go all the way to the wall with you. I'm going to go all out. The smallest infraction, you're not going, you're not going to um, step on my toes, as they say. You step on my toes, right? I'm gonna cut off your legs, and that's how that's how this dude get down, right? And so I think it's, you know, interesting to you know just what's going on right now, and to understand the lesson in that, really, in a Donald Trump or a Joe Biden, or come on, look at Kim Jong Un and Kamala Harris. I hate to tell you this, there's no competition. As far as you talking about, I mean, people want, oh, he's this, he's that. Yeah, forget all of the bullshit that they're talking about. I'm just talking about, you know, pound for pound, line for line, getting shit done, or just, you know, somebody who's just, you know, a flaky bullshit artist. It's undeniable that this man gets shit done. If not, they would have turned him into Muammar Gaddafi and had him raped by some sellout Arabs with a pipe in the middle of the street in front of the whole world. He looked like he going out like that? I don't think so. You see? He like, yeah, y'all not going, y'all not going to um, invade my country and then have a bunch of sell sellouts drag me in the middle of the street and sodomize me and kill me and rape me with a pipe, uh, you know, in my anus in the middle of the street 
and tape it and then play it in front of the world for everybody to see. See, when they did that, that Muammar Gaddafi, they thought it was funny. Obama did that, by the way. When Obama did that to Gaddafi, they didn't realize what they set in motion because the Russians made a statement on that and other countries did too. So when people were watching them do that, they thought, well, we're being exceptional, we're number one. They didn't realize the blowback from that was going to fast forward to 2024. Kim Jong-un got shock troops and nuclear weapons up and down the North Korean coast and is about to put 10,000 troops in Europe with side by side with Russian shock troops you see and nukes coming into Europe they didn't realize you know what I'm saying you don't understand the underlying connections like people the regular rank and file American right they're more concerned with what Diddy doing yo yo I heard Diddy was 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 bisexual and then he was um you know squirting baby oil on some man cheeks or and then getting down with a woman and all. Man, who cares? I don't even watch that stuff. I mean, I just hear about it. I don't even watch it. I just fast forward past that stuff. I see the headlines. Who got time for that? The foolishness, right? While they watching Kamala Harris do black scent, right? You go, girl. That's right. That's right. I cook. I cook. Um, collard greens in the bathtub. That's right. I'm black, just like you. That's right, girl. You jive turkey, you know, you watch her do all this fake black accent, right, on TV. That's right, I'm black, I'm from the ghetto. I smoke weed with Tupac. Okay, while you're watching all that and you're, you're participating in all that foolishness, the North Koreans got cracked troops kicking center blocks in half and putting nuclear weapons up and down their coastline, right, aiming them at your you know, your peeps in Asia and even in the United States, right? As the as the as the man just said, North Koreans can they can strike the US with nukes. They have hypersonic missiles that can't be stopped that can strike the US with nukes. Any pretty much probably anywhere in the United States. And have ten thousand troops on their way to the European borders through Russia. So they all clicking up. So, you know what I mean? You had to ask yourself, really, are you an unserious person or not? Right? While you got, you know, your next president may be Kamala Harris. I smoke weed with Tupac and cook collard greens in the bathtub. Right? You go, girl. Girl power. Black girl magic. Right? Against, I don't know, Russia and Kim Jong-un. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Like, it's a nightmare scenario. I mean, even Donald Trump. The United States, Europe, what they're doing, they're finished. Right? They're shooting themselves in the foot. And they have been for years. Right? And then if you look at what's going on in, in the Middle East, well, that's a whole, that's not what this is about, but that's a whole nother um, can of worms that they just I mean, it's cool now, but things are about to get more and more serious, as you can see, because these people are getting more and more serious, while people, are, you know, while the American, particularly the Negro, is getting more and more silly. Right? Like, I look at, you know, I look at black people, and I'm like, I look at, you know, you look at leaders like Kim Jong-un, Vladimir Putin, these people, and then you look at, you know, people like Barack Obama. And this is your leader. This is the people that you aspire to as leadership, like Obama and Kamala Harris. That's your leadership. You want a fake, you know, your leadership is like a fake black woman, an Indian woman cosplaying as black, right? Married to a white Zionist racist, <laughs> right? I mean, this is like you can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. And then you look at the black community and black people, you wonder why you can't get anywhere. Because you got very unserious, stupid people around you as your leadership. I mean, it's it's a it's a clown it's clown world. The whole all that shit is just clown world. And then when you look at what's really going on around the world, it's frightening. 
it's frightening, right? I mean, the 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 millions of of uh, not to mention the millions of hostile, undocumented immigrants coming across your border, waiting to pounce, waiting to pounce, because that's all they're doing. When the shit when this shit goes south, they're gonna pounce on you. And nobody, you know, nobody's really, you know, taking shit seriously. They're just like, oh, Diddy, Diddy, you know, what happened with Diddy, Diddy sexual, sexual traffic or whatever. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I thought this was um, an interesting development. So, I think you better take a good look, right? People better take a good look at what's going on and ask yourself, are you ready, right? Are you, are you ready for this? This look funny. It look like a joke. Like these people joking to you. It look. It look. He laughing, but it. But it ain't funny. That that look like a joke to you. The way he kicked the shit out of those bricks is the way a lot of people get ready to get their ass kicked. Very soon. <laughs> so you better you better take notice. The way they kicking the shit out of those bricks, right? It's the way a lot of people get ready to get their ass kicked pretty soon. And well deserved in a lot of cases. So you better ask yourself, are you ready? Right? Because I guarantee most of the people that you know can't kick a damn center block in half. Aren't doing jump. I'm sure that a lot of these military, <laughs> the military, I haven't seen them. I know they painting their head paint. And they got transsexual operations, probably in the military, all kind of stuff. I don't know if they kicking center blocks in half. So I think that's interesting, right? Be all you can be, right? So ho hopefully people are ready. Because I don't think this this not going to shake out the way you think, right? I, I mean, just imagine. Right, and they they got ten thousand. They said they ten thousand of these dudes is on their way to the border in Ukraine. You see, they might even show up in a neighborhood near you. Right, that that's what might show up in the neighborhood could could show up in the neighborhood near you. You had no idea. I mean, really, you had to think about it. See, people in America suffer from something called normalcy bias. They t they say, well. That could never happen here, right? This could never happen, that could never happen. I mean, what I would say is, moving forward, because I was like that maybe 15 years ago, 20, I, I used to suffer from normalcy bias. I thought things were always going to be similar or the same, and then things changed drastically. And I kind of missed out, right? So... Yeah, I would say don't suffer, don't be caught flat for the suffering from nor normalcy bias because you may get kicked in the face by a South Korean shock trooper. That's all I got.